Hey everybody, today is Thursday, November 24th, 2022, and we're back at the French Creek Heritage Park here in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania on Thanksgiving Day. Yes, here in the great United States of America, today is Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there who is celebrating today. Look at this, somebody actually left their, their pretty impressive walking stick behind. This is really, really awesome. If I was in the uh, the market for a walking stick, I'd be, I'd be good to go. I'm thankful for people leaving behind walking sticks. This is actually really awesome, but I do not need a walking stick, so I'm not going to take the walking stick. We'll leave that for somebody else who might be hiking the, the trails here. The reason why I came out here today was for something that I think is probably not going to work. You might be hearing all that noise in the background. That is the sound of cars driving over a covered bridge. A covered bridge that I was kind of hoping that maybe today I could actually walk over. That was that was kind of the plan I had today. I thought, well, it's Thanksgiving. There's not going to be anybody out today. Today's going to be a pretty calm day. The roads are going to be pretty clear because, I mean, it's Thanksgiving. People are going to be celebrating and cooking and doing all kinds of stuff with their families and whatnot. There's actually more people here at the park today than there was when I was out here a couple of weeks ago with my son. There are a ton of people out. There are actually lots of people driving on the roads and walking across this bridge might not actually happen. Right now, it's kind of dead. There's really nobody, there's really nobody around. So I, I really, I really want to walk across the bridge. That's sort of like something I've always wanted to do. It's an amazing covered bridge. The Rats Dam cover bridge built in 1866, which is really, really awesome. And last time I was out here, I was with my son. I figured, well, it's kind of dangerous to be crossing the bridge, to be walking across. I mean, the bridge is pretty long. To be walking across this bridge where there's no real pedestrian walkway kind of dangerous. Again, I was out here with my son. I figured maybe not the smartest idea. I didn't want to bring my son across it. I didn't want to leave him just walking by himself out here while I'm crossing it and possibly getting hit by a car. Didn't want to do that. So I figured, well, maybe someday I'll come back here. And I actually thought, ooh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's coming up in like in a couple of weeks. I'll come back out here on Thanksgiving Day when there's when there's nobody on the road. And I'll walk across the bridge and I'll show you guys the amazingness that is the inside of this 1866 covered bridge. But um, again, there's there's actually a strange amount of cars on the road today, more cars than I had anticipated. I just, I'm a little nervous. Should we just go, should we just go for it? Here, see, here comes a car. A car's coming down the road right now. And there's really no pedestrian walkway on this bridge. Another car's coming the other way. Look at that, it's a one lane bridge as well. One lane bridge, one car at a time. And like I said, there's really no pedestrian walkway. With that being said though, when I drove through it, I realized it's kind of a wide bridge. You can fit like one and a half cars through the bridge. So in theory, if I'm walking through there and a car does come, if I just stand off to the side, I'm good to go. I'm not gonna get run over. So I think I might, I might do this. This could be the last video I ever make for you guys. This could, this could be it. I don't know what this car, car shares are. And the car's stopping. There's nobody coming down the road. They're good to go. I'm thinking I should follow this car, right? Maybe this could be a terrible idea, but I really wanted to do this. Again, 1866 cover bridge. I don't know how much of this bridge is. Oh, that's a fake spider. That scared the ever loving. Look at that. That scared the heck out of me. We actually have spiders that large here in Pennsylvania. Totally thought that was a real spider. So I don't know how much of this bridge is original to 1866. It could be. Plenty of it, it could not be. These timbers are quite old, look at these. Look at these really old timbers here, look at that. These might be 1866 timbers. Here comes a here comes a car right now, and I'm inside the bridge. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm just gonna hang out here while the car comes through. Actually, there's plenty of room in here. I'll just wave to everybody. <laughs> this is pretty awesome, actually, being inside this bridge right here. This is really cool, look at this. It's definitely, the, the roof, as you can see, has definitely been rebuilt over time. It's not the original roof. So a lot of this timber has been replaced, which actually makes sense as we've had lots of floods out here. There's been, there's, been, there's a lot of cars coming through all of a sudden. There's been a lot of floods out here over the years. So this bridge has been hit by flood after flood after flood. A lot of vehicles I know have tried to come through here and have hit the roof. We have this problem here in Pennsylvania, and I'm sure lots of the parts of the United States where people like to drive vehicles that are way too tall through through these covered bridges and they smash into the roofs and stuff. It's not good, but look at these. Like this looks, that looks original. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't know when 
I'm kind of going to go there. I don't know when these timbers date back to. I don't know if they date back to, to 1866 or not. Maybe the floors do. I don't know. I'm guessing the, I'm guessing the floors have probably been, here comes another car, have probably been replaced over time because lots of vehicles driving over top of the walkway here. I know underneath, they've actually put metal beams down underneath the actual bridge itself to keep the, keep the heavy vehicles from coming through it because a lot of vehicles now are quite, quite heavier than they were back in 1866. Back in 1866, there weren't vehicles. There were horse and buggies going over top of this bridge. Now, with these very large vehicles, these very heavy vehicles, these very heavy vehicles here, I really don't want to get hit. Yeah, they had to reinforce it with actual metal I-beams that are underneath the bridge now. But look at this. This is awesome. And I just did it. I walked through the actual bridge. That is something I really wanted to do. It is such an awesome looking bridge. And it worked. I didn't get killed. We're going to have to walk back, by the way. There's no, I can't get across the bridge, can't get across the river again without going over the bridge. So we're going to have to walk back through it. But look at that. Clearance, nine feet, eight inches. You can see somebody's actually hit it. There's a big dent there. People are just crazy. I don't, I don't understand how you drive a truck and don't know the height of it. If I was driving a big truck or trailer or a U-Haul or something, I would know how tall the truck is. I have a van. I have Vanabelle, as you guys know. I know how tall Vanabelle is. I know what I can get through, what I can't. I'm always on the lookout for signs like this because sometimes there are places I go where I'm like, oh, Vanabelle's not going to fit through here. But look at that bridge. That is amazing. 1866 Rapsdam Cover Bridge. So awesome. Like I said, do not know how how far back these timbers date back to. I do not know if these are original 1866 timbers or not. Some of these do look very old though. I mean, these, these rusted out like bolts and nuts there. I mean, these are pretty cool. This, I mean, people have carved their names in this. This definitely has some age to it. Here comes another, another vehicle. I'm gonna get off to the side. There we go. <laughs> not the smartest idea. Not the, not the brightest idea I've ever had for a vlog before, but I really wanted to, like I said, cross the actual bridge because it's so cool. See out over the river there. Look at that. That is a beautiful sight right there. And like I said, people have carved their names into the bridge as well over the years. This is too cool. All right. So we're going to keep going before I get hit by a car again. But it's so amazing. Here comes another, there's another family of people walking. Are these people, there's a, there's a mother and a child and they're actually walking this way. My question is, are they going to walk over the bridge as well? I kind of feel like I made a big deal out of this. They just randomly and, and casually walk over the bridge. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna watch why the cars come. There we go. All right, we're back. We're back through the bridge now. That's so awesome. That is so cool. Look at that. It is beautiful. I'm just gonna sit. I'm just gonna sit right here while the cars come through. Maybe why the family comes through. I don't know. There was there was definitely a family walking this way. Now there's a bunch of cars coming. I'm kind of stuck off to the side of the road now because there's really no, there's really nowhere to walk right here. I'm gonna wait for these cars to come through so I don't actually get hit. So that was awesome. Like I said, I've always wanted to walk across this bridge. I want to show you guys the inside of this bridge. I really wanted to show you the inside of it. Smart cars coming. I really wanted to show you guys the inside of this bridge last time I was here, but I was out here with my son. There were a lot of cars. Actually, I think there were less cars when I was out here before than there were now. Look at this, erected by Chester County Commissioners. There's a little plaque here. September, September 66. Look at that. 18, 1866. That is pretty awesome. So, all right, guys. Like I said, I wanted to come out here, walk across the bridge. I've always wanted to do that. I don't know where that other family went. They did not, they were smart. They did not come and walk across the bridge. I thought they were coming this way, but, oh, they're over there. They stayed on the other side of the river. Probably a smart idea. I would not want to bring my son across that bridge. It was okay though. There was, like I said, it's like there's room for like one and a half cars. I had room. I wasn't going to get a hit. I don't think still a little, a little sketchy, but it is what it is. We did it. We walked across the rat stand bridge here in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, built in 1866. I touched the wood beams that may date back to 1866. My guess is probably, probably not. This bridge has probably been fixed up, rebuilt many times over the years due to flooding. You can see the actual newer, the actual newer wood. It's right there caused by the big flood we had. I believe that was last year. We had a very large flood come through here. A lot of, a lot of damage done, including to the actual bridge. There's still all kinds of debris up underneath the bridge. Look at that. 
That is all the debris there. It's all from the flood we had last year. Crazy. So they had to replace some of the beams. And again, I'm sure it was time to replace some of the wood on the floor due to vehicles driving over it. And I wouldn't be surprised if many of the other beams over the years have been replaced. 1866 so it was a very long time ago. Though I would be quite impressed if some of those beams do still date back to 1866, which they might. Who knows? But we walked across it. I touched the beams. I survived. I did not die walking across the bridge. That was a lot of fun. That was really cool. Again, something I wanted to do. Didn't quite go as planned. Honestly, thought there'd be nobody on the road today because it's Thanksgiving. There are a lot of people on the road. There are a lot of people here at the park as well. So a lot of people out today enjoying their Thanksgiving day, not at home with their families, not cooking food. Good for them. Good for them to actually get out and enjoy today, not be hustled and bustled with the stress of, of all those typical Thanksgiving traditions. I agree. Get out, enjoy your day, have some fun. Walk across a bridge that's not meant for pedestrians. Have, have fun today. Be, be risky today. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. So as always, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do get help putting gas in Vanabelle and in Pumpkins so we can come out to interesting places like this. I can walk across bridges that I really should not be walking across. In fact, right before I started filming, a police officer drove by and I thought, let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> let's hope he doesn't come back around when I'm actually walking through the bridge because um, I have a feeling he would have stopped me and he would have had something to say about that. So thankfully that did not happen. But anyway, guys, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Thanksgiving. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. What did you, what did you do for Thanksgiving? Comments down below. Right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you do subscribe or you are subscribed, I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye.